if someone can tell me what game that from, it's basically a remix of one of the themes in a game. If you can tell me the game name and what part of the game, what area, you get a gold star. All right, there's a few, there's one funny thing I was thinking about yesterday. I'm eating, by the way. I'm eating, I'm eating chicken skewers, skewers, three pieces. I'm eating creamy garlic and spinach pasta salad. And I'm eating summer fresh pasta tortellini. Okay, I just thought of something funny. So in television Amico, Scamaroni, his whole goal of the Intellivision Amico was to make it a friendly family console, right? That was the main goal behind it, right? So I want you guys to really think about this. His goal was to make it friendly family, but what happens when you type in Intellivision Amico on YouTube? <laughs> you just get, you get a bunch of videos about people calling each other cucks and simps. You got friggin' alt accounts off the yin yang doxing people in real life. You got friggin' Stories about people's wives on heroin and all this stuff going on with the Amico. <laughs> and you got all this drama on the side. So no matter what Intellivision does, there's no way to save that image anymore. Right? They can't. What can you do? Because every time you type in Intellivision Amico on YouTube, look at the results. <laughs> you just get scam. You get that H Bomber guy's video revealing the scam. You just get, you just get totally a bunch of hate and exposure to the scam. There's nothing in television can do to save their name. So, I was actually thinking about that. And that's what made me kind of come to the conclusion that maybe they won't release it, you know? They'll probably make, they'll probably make like a, a few test unit foot baths for everybody, right? Just for this. For their, um, you know, one or two cucks and shills that are on YouTube. Other than that, it's going to be like a private, limited release. How, 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 for sure. For sure. You can't even hide the fact that it was a scam on YouTube. It's impossible. You may get, you type it in television Amico, you get the main in television channel first. Then you get some of the shills like Brett Weiss. Holding the friggin' that crypt keeper Brett Weiss, there's a thumbnail of him holding the damn console like it's a friggin' infomercial on the channel sh shopping channel on TV. Like you don't hold, you're not supposed to hold a console like that, you moron. But since the thing is so light, it, it weighs as much as a frisbee, the foot bath, you can hold it like that. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing in television to do. To save that image of being a family friendly because it's anything but you have people calling each other all the names in the world you are begging for millions aka saggy melons YouTube only fans page trying to copy destiny FOMO I was like how is that family friendly even with a name like saggy melons how the hell is it family friendly So that's what I was thinking. Oh, did you guys hear? I haven't checked YouTube today, but did that have an Amico Day guy, the one who put all the OEB Pete videos on YouTube, uh, on a bit shoot? So apparently that guy deleted his channel. Is that what happened? He deleted his channel? Why? I have a theory. Now, this is all speculation as to why, right? I, it's all speculation, it's all a guess. I don't have the proof. He could have just privated his channel for two seconds or whatever, a couple of days and come back. I don't know. So whatever I say right now about the reason why, it could be completely false. It could be a completely wrong, right? But this is my speculation. That have an Amico Day Guy channel, I think the reason he deleted his channel, because if you noticed his last few videos, he started showing his face, right? Who started showing his face, thinking he's invincible, and then all of a sudden, 
after maybe two, three videos of him showing his face, he deletes his channel. I think, and again, I might be totally wrong. I might be totally wrong. He might he might come back today. He might come back tomorrow. I think he was scared of getting doxxed. Okay. That's one theory. He was scared of getting doxxed, so he deleted it. And the other thing I have to think about, I think he may have got a private message on YouTube or Twitter or wherever. And it was threatening him like, hey, I know who you are. Your your first name is this or maybe your last name is this. I know you live. And then he got scared and he deleted his channel. That's what I think. See what happens when you expose your face and you make these clever videos. See, see what happens when you go against the grain. You go against the evil, which is in television. <laughs> and television is the Antichrist, is it? <laughs> This is what happens when you go against the Intellivision Amico. You get real life situation going on. That's the problem. That guy should have never exposed his face. But again, he you know, he, he might just private it or whatever. But this is just my, if he does, if he actually did delete his channel for good, like completely, right? Then he should have stayed, should have stayed anonymous. Wow, that summer fresh tortellini is... I don't know what filling is in there, but it tastes pretty good. Oh, yeah. Some of the alt account there... Uh, the, some of the alt accounts there are uh, lacking some content there. What's going on there, boys? What's going on there, boys? Why are you lacking? How hard is it to... Pick up a phone, hit record, and talk while you're driving. Or talk while you're eating. How hard is it? You can literally say anything you want and people will listen. <clears throat> no. So, I kind of tuned into Tommy Uyamika's stream a little bit. And he was saying that um, <clears throat> Retrobro told people that when Scammeroni was talking to Retrobro on the phone, Scammeroni told Retrobro that this thing, this Intellivision Amico has a less less than 5% chance of coming out. Is that for real? Is that really what, what he said? A less than 5% chance of coming out? If that's the case, then DJ Cuck, that East Coast prick with a big mouth retro advisory board, and that fat slob Geeks with Rash, they know this thing's not going to come out. So what are they doing on that stupid Amico Forever panel? Just shilling for the sake of shilling? Then that's wrong. They should let the people know. Let the people know that this thing's not going to come out. But nope. He's getting some monetary game. Guys, DJ Cock can't be that stupid thinking that this thing is like going to be the best thing ever. He knows that they're in problems. Rob definitely knows that they're in problems. So they're just doing this for their own monetary gain. That's why they're pieces of garbage. It's because of that reason. That's why Brett Weiss, the Crypt Creeper, is a piece of garbage. Because as, as, as soon as he didn't get free games from Scamaroni, he stopped shilling for the product. Yeah, and then on Tommy Uyamika's stream, he said, this is probably known, but he, he mentioned how Phil Adam, when he had a conversation with Trash JT, that piece of garbage from California, yeah, it's, what, what, what DT said was right. That guy, that Trash JT is such a douchebag and so arrogant that he doesn't even realize how much of a douchebag he is. So when he does things on his YouTube channel, like zoom ups on his face while he's smiling with his rat face, like he doesn't realize how much of a douchebag he really is. 
Oh, it's hilarious. So yeah. Phil Adam tells friggin' Trash JT that if we're not gonna sell at least 10,000 consoles, there's no reason to even release the product. Is that true? Is that what he said to Trash JT? If that's actually what he said, that's a major league problem. Talk about that, Retro Advisory Board, you piece of garbage, you rat, backstabbing piece of trash. <clears throat> oh, they're going to sit there with all their Christmas decorations and, you know, Saint Nick and be all holy, holy Christmas, Merry Christmas. Meanwhile, they lied to people and got their money taken out of them. That guy still gets his YouTube growth for basically lying. <clears throat> I am trying to bite the chicken off the skewer. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So those two pieces of news. Retro Bro with a conversation with Scammeroni on the phone and Scammeroni saying that this console has less 5% or less chance of coming out. A. Exhibit A. <clears throat> Exhibit B. Trash JT talking to Phil Adam and Phil Adam telling him if, we're, if we don't sell at least 10,000 consoles, there's no point in... He's not doing it. He's not releasing it. So this thing isn't going to come out. What's the point? Again? This goes back to my original theory. All this is doing is Phil Adam is just crossing the T's and dotting the I's so that he doesn't get sued by law and he can claim that he tried the best he can to release this product but it just failed they should have knew it failed if they actually did real market research that's when they should have known you got geeks with rash tony td uh not geeks with rash <laughs> I, I got mixed up. <laughs> I got mixed up by one guy's nickname and another guy's real name. You got the geek getaway. Some slobbering loser. Who has clickbait. Clickbait friggin' thumbnails. Fence riding. Oh, oh. So apparently there's news that this Bomber Me TV is, uh doing some illegal stuff with children is this true and I heard that there's a stream of him like there's a stream of him <laughs> there's a stream of uh, the bomber me TV guy that English speaking prick from England that arrogant piece of trash that uh, he had like kids dancing on stream or something minors is that true does does anyone actually have the video <clears throat> like I know now Bomber me freaking deleted the he deleted the stream, but anyone who actually watched the real stream, do you have the video clipped or recorded? What are you doing, Bomber Me TV? You accuse me of being garbage in Street Fighter or fighting games. I prove to you I'm not. I actually got first place in tournaments. Then you suck up to me asking me. To please teach you or play with you. Shut the hell up. Get the hell out of here. I don't want to associate myself with pieces of filth like you. <clears throat> no, no. Back to, um, I'm having a meat go day. He just deleted his channel just out of the blue. That guy had funny 
mishmash compilation videos. I thought they were really funny. But um, my theory is he showed his face. He was either afraid of getting doxxed or he was about to get doxxed. He got threatened. And then he, the threat was like, delete your channel or I'm going to tell everybody. And that's it. Yeah. There's technology. There's technology out there where you can get a still of your face. And it'll, find, it'll scrape or search Google and stuff. And it'll find out if you have stuff on... Uh, like if that guy had a LinkedIn or a Twitter or a personal Instagram... Personal LinkedIn, personal Twitter, personal Facebook. It would find his face, I'm telling you. There's technology like that. <clears throat> Some people are better than others. I hope you can't hear the phone notifications. So yeah, that guy... Well, thank God for uploading the... OEVP. I'll definitely do more of those. Hey, do you also have uh, have an Amico Day channel? Do you also have the Retro Bro Amico After Dark videos as well? Or are they all like friggin' two hours, three hours long? If there was like quick 20 minute Retro Bro videos talking to Scammeroni or about the Amico, can you upload those too? Those will be so hilarious to uh, review. I would review those. I would definitely react to those. Or any 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 type of video where you have somebody talking to Scammeroni or talking about the Amico, upload those. I'll react to them. <clears throat> you know, the way I eat food the way I buy food, like to eat outside. Like I don't just go to friggin' fast food. Or I go to like a grocery store where they have kind of like a buffet or like they have a little hot plate where they, you know, they pour some in a little small container, pour some. I like doing that. I like doing mishmashes of that. Get some chicken here, some pasta here, tortellini here. That's what I like. So I'm ordering, I'm telling her, can I get the small case? Like I like getting a little bit of each. I don't overeat, okay? Like the fat slob DJ cuck. Or Geeks with Rash. That guy is really over. That guy is eating food on his stream nonstop. Pepperoni pizza, burgers, Wendy's, McDonald's, gourmet burgers. This guy's just going all chicken wings, tenders. All this acne on his face. So I like getting small portions of each thing and just doing that. And I'm telling the lady, I'm like, can you put a little bit here? That's it. Just like, I'm like, just, the, and like, that's it. She's like, really? That's it? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, another one. That's it. Like, really? That's it. Like, she probably thinks I'm so cheap. Because it's by weight, right? You, you pay by weight. But it's like, no, I know how to friggin' eat a proper diet. So I don't have a protruding gut coming out of my belly. After this, I'm going to go eat dessert at a bakery. And you get to choose how much of the dessert piece you want. Because, it, again, it's sold by weight. And I, like... And I basically choose, like, the smallest piece of dessert, right? Because I don't want to overeat on dessert. And then they look at me like, this guy's so cheap getting, like, a dollar to two dollars worth of dessert. It's like, no, that's how you're supposed to eat, you morons. And then you got friggin' Carl. That smelly... Overweight, obtuse, non educated piece of garbage. What pisses me off is when people. Okay, see, this is the thing about someone like Carl. We're talking about that Carl guy that hangs out on that slobbering moron geek getaways. That SJW cuck geek getaway. That Carl guy. The thing about Carl, people like Carl, is in his real life, in his actual real life, his physical real life, ain't no one friends with the guy. <clears throat> ain't no one associating with the guy. He ain't gonna get no girlfriend, okay? That guy is like 
literal piece of trash, okay, on in, in real life. No one's looking at him, lives in a dump. I saw a Volpe's video about exposing Carl. Yeah, like, look how dirty his house is. Like, in his real life, he's a disgusting piece of trash that you would never associate with. You would feel dirty trying to step into his house and talk to him. You wouldn't want to step into his house. You would probably have pests freaking latch on to you, parasites. So, the thing about someone like him is real life, he has nothing going on. But on YouTube, he can have something going on. So that's why people are like, oh, Carl the legend. Oh, so I feel sorry for Carl. Poor Carl. No, he's a piece of garbage. Okay, don't listen to that guy. Any opinion that that piece of trash has, don't listen to him. Because if you saw him in real life in front of you, in front of you, with your own eyes, you'd be like, why am I listening to you? Why am I within five feet of you? So yeah, and there's a lot of people on YouTube like that. I'm getting full, but I'll finish it. I check my weight every day in the morning when I wake up. That's a good way of knowing whether you have room to eat today like some extra garbage or you don't have room to eat. That's a good way. You should do that. If you're looking to lose weight, check the friggin' scale every single day, every morning. Check it. It's like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm one or two pounds less than uh, yesterday. Okay, now I can eat some pasta. That's, that's, let me get back to norm. And when I'm back to norm, then I'm going to start eating my normal food that I usually eat. Simple friggin'. Yeah, tell that to Carl. I'm sure he'll friggin'. Take that advice, hook, line, and sinker. Why isn't Trash JT making any Amico videos with Phil Adam? Trash JT, can you please make videos talking about Phil Adam? Your personal experience talking to him? The company that used you for $10,000? So yeah, in the drama world of Amico, you got uh, you got Bomber Me TV apparently uh, doing things with minors. You got that going on. You got uh, what else? What else? What else? <clears throat> There's got to be some more. That's the only way, guys. I find out about news. Is when you say it in the comments. That's the only way. Or someone else's video. <clears throat> we need some Amico content. Pong Show. Pong TV. The Pong Show. You need to make some... Uh... You don't need to. I'm asking you. Make some Amico content. We're, we're missing out. We're missing. You're the only Pong Show. You're the only one that actually met these guys in real life and stayed true to tell the truth. I want to hear stories about these people. I want to hear how they're fake. I just want to hear thing. I want to hear your interactions with Scamaroni. Did you get any weird vibes, or was he like? Ever since, like, did you question something and he was just trying to distance you right away? Like, is there, like, I saw your old videos, <clears throat> all that stuff, which is enjoyable to watch. You have, you have the best Amico, <laughs> Amico rant. <laughs> that rant was hilarious, dude. <laughs> yeah, you did, you did actually have. The best Amico rant. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. But yeah, do you have any other stories or anything about Amico you want to talk about? Because you're the only one that has first-hand experience that is willing to expose. Retro bro, retro ho, was another person that was saying that he was going to expose everything. But I think he got scared after Retro Advisory Board exposed the fact that you didn't have money on your ta money and that you needed food on your table. And he went to friggin' rob for help for money. After that happened, he stopped. 
And then I think he said something about when uh, Mike Molest was uh, complaining that people were making fun of his child on the video. And then Retro Bro was like, well, no one made fun of, no one defended me when, uh, when Turbo Slow said that uh, I pimped out my daughter. After that, I never heard a video from uh, Retro Bro again. Now he has friggin' members only. Cause he's, cause Retro Bro is such an ex, uh, uh, entertaining content creator. I can't wait to give you my Patreon money so you can, so I can watch you play a shmup. Well, back to the original thing I said, how the hell, how the hell will Intellivision release as a fram, a family friendly console when, when you search, when you search Intellivision Amico on YouTube, you have people calling each other cucks. <laughs> You have alt accounts doxing other alt accounts in real life. <laughs> How can this sell as a family friendly console? <laughs> At this point, it's just too far gone. It's too far gone down the rabbit hole. There has been, you have Pat and, uh, you have Pat and Ian, Pat the NES videos exposing the scam. You have some hairy guy with a ski mask exposing the scam. <laughs> it's, it's like the weirdest, the weirdest set of characters. <laughs> and it's attached to an, an television Amico. Every time, you ever notice every time we say Intellivision Amico, we're literally saying Intellivision friend. <laughs> this is anything but friendly. Or just anything but friendly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have all this side drama going on with the television. Imagine, imagine an actual legit parent, a legit soccer mom. Okay, Holly with her two dogs. Literally starts searching in television Miko on YouTube, <laughs> and then she finds, she finds our videos. You think? Do you really think all these people with investments, on you know on Republic, right? <clears throat> these people that have done investments within television, they, um, they they for sure those people that have done investments that are like wondering what the hell is going on. They for sure have searched in Television Amico on YouTube. Whose videos did they click on? Whose videos are they subscribed to now? <laughs> you have all these boomers that invested in friggin' in television. And now they're searching up in Television Amico on YouTube and they're finding all this content. <laughs> I have over like I have like a hundred videos on television <laughs> how pathetic is that <clears throat> how pathetic is that I have a hundred I have close to like a hundred videos you have other like retro bro had like 300 videos on television he he privated them all or deleted them can't get can't watch I if he if he publics those I would watch those again just to hear what Scamroni, what kind of lies Scamroni was spewing? <clears throat> I'm literally eating tortellini. Tommy Tortellini. That was one of the funny nicknames I thought of. Tommy Tortellini. I didn't. I pre-ordered. I, I pre-ordered an Amico, not a not a Talarico. 
That's that's what most of the people did. They pre-ordered Talarico because they just wanted to hear Talarico, that greasy leprechaun, do hand movements to friggin' cuck all the boomers, and then it starts friggin' doing a, a magic spell on people. The chicken is done. Open my windows. So, have an amigo day. What happened to you, dude? Did you get threatened to be doxxed or were you afraid? Why did you even show your face? When you started showing your face, people lost interest and like no one cares anymore. Like stop trying to be a YouTuber and, show your, like, and showing your face. No one cares. Just continue making your funny compilation videos. They were hilarious. And they're a lot of work. They're not easy. Do you know which alt account? Do you know which alt account has funny videos? I don't know who is behind this alt account, but it's actually really funny the way he or she compiled all these videos. I think one of the funniest alt account videos is Steve smells like piss and is unhinged. <laughs> I don't know who, like I know who Steve is. I obviously never interact. I came in after he stopped, but um, <clears throat> that, that channel has really funny. That's a lot of work. That kind of editing together and like all that stuff, like that's a lot of, it's not hard, but it's just long patiently doing all that stuff it's not easy that alt account has funny videos steve smells like piss and is unhinged like where did that name even come from like look at this funny <laughs> this funny uh funny channel name and that and they have that guy as a terminator <laughs> on on the avatar i don't know who who is behind all these alt accounts? They're just hilarious. Some of the funniest people ever. Funnier than me. <clears throat> Steve smells like piss and is unhinged. Funny this is this more entertaining than anything you would find on TV? Anything. I would I would literally watch Amico drama videos and all these funny compilation drama videos over television, over the FIFA World Cup, over friggin' CNN News. Just absolutely hilarious. Please make more videos. All these alt accounts. Hilarious. Hilarious. Because <laughs> the reality is Some of these battles that are going on Between people on YouTube These dramas between people Like they're not my fight I'm just a spectator to all that I have nothing against both sides of those Right Like sometimes I, 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 I mention something And then in my comments they would have like it, it's okay keep commenting whatever you want to comment I, I don't block anyone but uh sometimes they're trying to get me to go against that guy it's like no i it's not my fight i, I it has nothing to do with me right <clears throat> but i'll definitely spectate and <laughs> i'll definitely instigate I, well, I'm, well i'm trying to inst i'm not instigating in a bad sense but like just keep making videos don't stop don't slow down don't run out of stamina Keep making. Those type of videos. I see some fat lard walking on the sidewalk with a bag of Cheetos. That's nice. Cheetos do taste good though. 
don't get me wrong but those things cheetos those things are literally like they will add up so much in calories to the point where you'll get an extra roll of fat on your gut the next day cheetos if cheetos were not fattening i would be eating cheetos all the time <clears throat> another food i would eat all the time if it wasn't fattening is a craft dinner macaroni and cheese the triple cheese extra cheesy that's another food if it wasn't fattening i'd eat all the time like literally all the time <clears throat> i got one two three four five seven tortell i got seven tommy tortellinis left and i got two pieces of uh pasta salad let's start on the tortellini Looks like it's cooked, it's like olive oil on it. Oregano maybe. Yeah, Italian food is very tasty. Who, who, who can deny it? Italian cuisine is probably one of the tastiest. In my opinion. If I had one cuisine to choose to eat for the rest of my life, it would be Italian. I, of course it's fattening. Hella fattening. But if I'm on a deserted island, I'd pick Italian. <clears throat> yeah, there's all these hilarious uh, alt accounts. <laughs> it's like, who's making, who's taking time out of their day to do these funny alt account compilation videos? I really, sometimes I really wonder, like, who, 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 what is going on? And, and they're, in most, for the most part, they're neutral, right? They're, 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 they're making fun of both sides, anti side, pro side, alt account side, hatred side. They're making fun of both sides overall. So it's just some like neutral man in the middle making <laughs> all these funny compilation videos. That's hilarious. Alright. It's a long video. I'm out. Peace.